Okay guys, this is David again. Uh, today we're gonna do some work to the good old BMW here. I uh, had it emissions tested the other day and now it sounds like something in the valve train has gone wrong. Uh, has some very loud clickety-clack noise from up top so I had the valve cover off quickly the other day and uh, didn't find anything obvious. So uh, today we're gonna pull it off again, check all the valve clearances, probably also take the vacuum pump off, which is for the brakes and stuff, and give it a quick run if it might be the vacuum pump that does the sound. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Fairly straightforward job. You just take off uh, the hose from the turbo to the intake, um, this uh, hose here, which is for uh, the engine uh, oil stuff, uh, this thing here with one 13 mil bolt, uh, the hose from the vacuum pump, and uh, these four, uh, I think it's also 13 millimeter bolts, and then you can pretty much just lift the uh, valve cover off to make it more easy there's one uh, 10 millimeter plastic fastener right beneath here uh, you take that off and um, then pull this tank a little bit out of the way uh, makes it more easy so let's get started so there it is pulled the valve cover off and uh, uh, this is a 524 TD so it's a 2.5 a uh, 2.4 liter a straight six turbo diesel with uh, 160 horsepower and uh, yeah, this is the camshaft uh, if you look closely mine is in pretty sad shape uh, all the cam lobes are pretty well worn and pretty scored uh, I can't tell you why this is um, I always keep my oil changes but uh, when I got this car the camshaft didn't look too too good either so yeah, I'm just gonna continue running it the way it is and uh, see how long this cam will last. Uh, car still runs fine and oh, ran fine before it started clattering but uh, yeah all in all you know brings me from uh, brings me to and from work uh, doesn't use too much fuel so it's it's actually a pretty good car. So what I'm gonna do now is pull the vacuum pump off and uh, then I'm gonna show you how to do a valve adjustment on one of these. So I took the vacuum pump off and it just makes it more easy to uh, get to your valve adjustment. Uh, just to show you um, how to adjust them. Um, you see this little uh, eccentric here with a hole that pushes on the valve. Um, there is a 10 mil screw on every cylinder, on every one of these rocker arms. And you loosen the 10 mil on the side here with a 10 mil wrench. And then you put a little pin, uh, best thing is probably in... Uh, uh, well, just put anything that fits in this uh, hole here, and then you can turn the eccentric until your uh, feeler gauge, which in this case you need a 0.3 millimeter, will just uh, go in here and uh, go through with a nice bit of drag. As you can see, these valves here are uh, too loose. Uh, I don't really have any sort of drag so I'm gonna have to tighten them up. Uh, I usually go from the front uh, to the back and to rotate the engine I just put it in fifth gear and roll the car forward and back a little bit. So I'm gonna adjust all 12 valves and then I'm gonna fire the car up and hear if it's still does the clickety clackety sound. So all right I have uh, readjusted all the valves some of them were especially one was really loose I uh, didn't feel that yesterday so uh, 
right now I'm gonna fire the car up as is just uh, want to see if uh, we still have the knocking if not I'm gonna reassemble it with the uh, uh, vacuum pump in it as well and then we can really hear if there is no more noise so, and brake take it out of gear Brake on. Yeah, this thing always needs uh, two glow plug cycles, otherwise it has a hard time starting. But with two cycles, it will usually start pretty good. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, doesn't really seem to have the loud knocking noise it was doing before. So, yeah, as you can see now, nicely everything soaked in oil. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna um, put all the parts back together, vacuum pump back on, uh, valve cover back on, uh, just pretty much the same procedure has taken it off just the other way around and then we will finally have a good listen and see if it's nice and quiet again as it was before so all right uh, all put back together let's see if it is all oil tight and how she sounds well that's good I don't hear any loud clackering noise Before you would hear a loud knocking sound, especially if you would rev it up a little. Well, it sounds really good now with completely readjusted valves. Oh yeah, it runs really, really smooth, like no big uh, blows or anything. So, I think that concludes our fix on this car for today. Uh, Stop the noise, which seemed to have been an extremely loose valve. Um, you know, I don't know if you know anything about emissions testing in Germany uh, on a diesel. Uh, the uh, inspector puts a uh, snorkel in the exhaust and then uh, revs the car to the max so uh, this thing will rev a little further than here like 5200 is the minimum it has to rev and last time when it uh, got emissions tested which is every two years uh, some springs fell off uh, inside the valve train and uh, this time one of the valves must have come out of adjustment but uh, oh, no, it's, it's all readjusted, sounds just like before the emissions testing, so I'm happy.